Hi, and welcome to another episode of Short and Sweet TV. We'll be looking at InDesign's spell check tools in this episode. If your spelling is anything like mine, you'll be relieved to know that InDesign has its own spell check tool and it's found up here underneath edit. If we scroll down to spelling here, you can see there's a few tools to choose from. Uh, we can do a standard spell check by just clicking on the first option here, check spelling. So when I select that, you can see it opens up the spell checking or check spelling box. And it's just a case of running through your document and picking up um, any spelling errors. If you've got things like names and that sort of thing, you can just skip those. Um, and when it does find something that you need to address, it's just a case of selecting the word or suggested correction underneath here and then choosing to change that or, or potentially change all instances where that word may be spelled incorrectly. We'll just come out of the check spelling box and come back up to edit and down to spelling. You've also got the ability to select dynamic spelling. What dynamic spelling does is it actually detects spelling errors and underlines them with a red line. So as you can see here, it's mainly the names in this particular document that are coming up as potential um, errors. And it's a great way when you're typing or if you've just dropped in some text to check the spelling on the fly. If you need to turn it off, you just come back up to edit, scroll down to spelling and then just untick it from here. You've also got an autocorrect option. So if you tick that on, words will autocorrect as you're typing. And then finally, under the spelling tools, the last one, use a dictionary. This is great if you have common words um, or words that you're using commonly throughout your document on a regular basis, such as names, and you don't wish them to turn up in the spell check every time they appear. So it's just a case of typing the word in here and then adding it into the list of words that are part of your um, part of your document and you don't want them to come up as errors. So I'll just click done on that. And there are the four different ways that you can manage your spelling within your InDesign documents. I hope you found this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next short and sweet TV video tutorial.